In this video, we will look at resistances in series and also Ohm's law. So we know Ohm's law is just voltage is equal to resistance times current. And, it, and this only applies for a linear resistance made from metal conductors. Resistors made from semiconductors are, are non-linear. So the first sketch to the right, so you can see the relationship between voltage and current is linear, so that's resistance. Semiconductor, the relationship between voltage and current is not linear. So if it's not linear, Ohm's law cannot be applied. So there is resistance and there is uh, conductance. Conductance is just one divided by resistance. And the units are mu or the symbol for ohms backwards or Siemens. Resistance converts electrical energy to heat. And, it's, and the resistance is always positive. When a power is uh, dissipated by a resistor is I squared R, so the, the square of the current flowing through the resistor times the resistance. So let's assume we have resistances R, uh, R1, R2 through Rn in series. So we can look at the circuit to the right. So we have a source, we have current flowing through these resistances in series. We have R1, R2, and so on and so forth, Rn. And each resistor will have a voltage drop for R1, V1, R2, V2, and so on and so forth. So in a series circuit, we know the same current flows through the circuit. So then the applied voltage, if we call that V, is just V1 plus V2 plus Vn. Then, and also we know V1 is just I or the current times R1. V2 is current times R2. Dot, dot, dot. Then Vn is just I times Rn. Then if we factor out the current, since the same current flows through a series circuit, which means each the same current will flow through all resistances. So it's just current times the sum of all the resistances in series. So the voltage is just current times the equivalent series resistance. So if we call that Rs, just series resistance. So the series resistance is just the sum of all resistances connected in series. So if we have if we have n resistances connected in series, then the equivalent series resistance is just the sum of all the resistances in series. So if we, look, uh, if we look at this example, we have a circuit to the right. So the voltage is 200 volts. We have a current flowing through this series circuit. R1 is 3 ohms. R2 is 5 ohms. R3 is 2 ohms. R4 is 1 ohm. So the question is, what is the current? And what is V1, V2, V3, and V4? So we know the voltage applied is just current times the equivalent uh, resistance of the series resistances. And we know the equivalent series resistance is just the sum of all resistances. So it's just 3 times uh, plus 5 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 11 ohms. So we have the voltage, we have the resistance, we can calculate the current. So the current is just 200 divided by 11, it's 
18.18 amps. So now we can do Ohm's law. V1 is equal to the current times R1, so it's just 18.18 times 3, which is 54.54 volt, uh, volts. We do the same thing for V2, it's 90.9 volts. We do the same thing for V3, 36.36 volts. The same thing for V4, 18.18 volts. So, as a quick check, we know the applied voltage is 200 volts. So, if we sum up the values of V1, V2, V3, V4, we better get something that's really close to 200. Obviously, there will, there will be some rounding errors, but if it's close, then that's good enough. So, if we just sum up all these values here, we get 199.98 volts, which is very close to 200 so our calculation is correct so now let's look at the voltage divider so we saw that the voltage is equal to the current flowing through uh, series resistances so it's just the current times the equivalent series resistance so if we take uh, V1 we know it's just equal to current times R1. So the current is just V1 divided by R1. So if we do a substitution, we know V is equal to the current times RS. So if we just do replace the current with V1 divided by R1, then if we rearrange, we see that V1 is equal to R1 divided by RS times V. So for N resistances in series, we can write for each K resistance, VK, the voltage of a particular resistance that's in series with other resistances is equal to the resistance of that component divided by the series, the equivalent series resistance times the source voltage. So K can be one, two, three, depends on how many resistances, resistances we have in series. So th this is called voltage divider. So voltage divider works for uh, resistances in series. So let's do a quick example. We go back to the previous example or the previous circuit. So we know V1 is equal to R1 divided by RS times Vs. Vs just a source voltage. So from this equation here, R1 is just 3 ohms. The equivalent series resistance is 11 ohms times the source voltage 200 volts. So we have 54.54 which volts, which is what we obtained before. We, we do the same thing for V2. So we get 90. 0.9 volts, we do the same thing, V3, and we get 36.36 volts, and finally V4, it's 18.18 volts. So we just applied a uh, voltage divider, basically. Thank you for watching this video, and have a great day.